Yeah. So suppose uh, I have a matrix, and uh, I want I want to extract the column vectors or row vectors of the matrix. This is required for uh, many applications. I have large data set, and I arrange it in the form of a m by n matrix. And many times I am interested in the first column or the second column or certain row. Then uh, how to program the computer so that the output will be column vectors or row vectors? So this is achieved by matrix multiplication. So take these column vectors, basic column vectors e1, e2. Um, Should have been E M. These the the matrix is M by N, and the column vectors have size N. So I can multiply A on the right by E K. A is M by N, and uh, E K is N by one matrix. Uh, it's a column vector. So A E K, you can just check that it is the kth column of the matrix. Yeah. Just use the definition of product of matrices. Uh, so E K is a matrix, and A is a matrix, and this product is a column vector. And this is this is the kth column vector, yeah. So given my m by n matrix and I want to extract the first column, you simply multiply a on the right by e1. You want to extract the second column, multiply a on the right by e2, and so on. So this operation will uh, will give you various column vectors of a, and this is important to uh, to display the column vectors. And by symmetry, you can extract the row vectors of a. And you so to get the row vectors of A, I will multiply A on the left by row vectors. So, corresponding to basic column vectors, we also have basic row vectors. So, if E1, E2, uh, etc., are the uh, basic row vectors, then E sub k times A will be the kth row of A. Okay. So, multiply A on the left by basic row vectors, then I get. Various row vectors of A. Multiply A on the right by basic column vectors. I get various column vectors of A. Okay, this is clear from the uh, definition of matrix multiplication. So suppose I take two matrices A and B. Both are both have same size. Uh, then uh, then then their column vectors will be identical. Their row vectors will be identical. So if A equal to B, then all column vector first column vector of A must be first column vector of B. And that is indicated by writing A E one equal to B E one. Similarly, first second column vector of A is second column vector of B, and then we write here A E two is equal to B E two. So A equal to B if and only if A E K is B E K. Yeah. So uh, think of this uh, A and B as dynamic uh, objects, right? They are they are defining functions. A is a m by n matrix. It takes input as uh, vectors in R n. And output as vectors in R M. Yeah. So if this action of A and B coincides on the basic column vectors, yeah, basic column vectors are analogs of in the three-dimensional space. You look at the i, the the unit vector in the x direction, this is i, unit vector in the y direction, which is j, and the unit vector in the in the z direction, which is which is k. Okay. So uh, if uh, if I have a vector, if I have a quantity uh, vector whose action on these basic column vectors are same, then these two uh, matrices or two vectors are one and the same. So A equal to B if and only if the action of A on kth column vector, uh, basic column vector E k is same as the action of B on the kth basic column vector E k. Okay. Yeah. So now let's let's look at. Three matrices A, B, C, and alpha is a real number. It's easy to see this property. This property of uh, A, A, A plus B times C is equal to A C plus B C. So matrix multiplication is distributive, yeah, on both the sides. So C times A B, A plus B is C A plus C B. And since the matrix multiplication is not a commutative operation, uh, we have to display both these distributive laws, right? So uh, when I write C times A plus B, I cannot write A C plus B C because A C may not be defined and B C may not be defined. So keep the ordering as same. A plus B times C is A C plus B C, and C times A plus B is C plus C B. And uh, with respect to scalar multiplication, we have this property that alpha A times B is alpha times A B equal to A times alpha B if the sums and products are well defined. 
So are there any questions? No, sir. Okay. Yeah. So uh, here is a uh, important rule, which is uh, corresponding to associative uh, law of uh, product of real numbers. So I have three matrices. Uh, a is a M by N matrix, B is a N by P matrix, and C is a P by Q matrix. Yeah? I can multiply A and B. I can multiply B and C because number of columns of A is same as number of rows of B and number of columns of B, which is P, is same as number of rows of C. And I multiply uh, B and C in that order and then left multiply by A, that is same as AB times C. So ordering is very important here. A times the product of B and C is same as product of A and B times C. Okay. So uh, matrix multiplication, uh, as you saw, uh, it is defined in terms of dot product of uh, row vectors and column vectors. But the the uh, and and uh, matrix multiplication is not commutative. But the associativity, uh, fortunately, is true. Yeah. So so uh, matrix multiplication is an associative operation. I will uh, leave the proof for you to uh, check. This is this comes simply by uh, by putting the definition of matrix product. Okay, and uh, so you can you can write down the definition, and you will see that uh, both these matrices are equal. So to prove a, an equation of matrices, I have to prove that the uh, the uh, JK entry of the matrix on the left is same as the JK entry of matrix on the right. So we write down the definition of JK entry of A, B times C and A times B, C and show that they are equal. So two matrices are equal if and only if the, every entry in the jth row and kth column is same as every entry in the jth row and kth column of A times B times C. So this is a easy proposition. I leave it for you, for you to read. Uh, these are some more properties of matrix multiplication that uh, if I have two matrices A and B which can be multiplied, uh, then the transpose of A times B is the product of B transpose A transpose. Now you pay attention to the ordering in which we are writing. So A and B can be multiplied, right? But then uh, B transpose is a P by N matrix and A transpose is a N by N matrix. And so I can multiply B transpose and A transpose. And transpose of A times B is same as B transpose times A transpose. The ordering is changing here. Yeah, you will not write A B transpose as A transpose B transpose, but it is equal to B transpose A transpose. So here is here is the proof. Uh, write the entry J K entry of A as A J K, and uh, J K entry of B as B J K, and the C J K as the entry J K entry of A times B. Then A transpose will be A J K prime, B transpose is B J K prime, and A B transpose is C J K prime. So simply display the general entry of all the three matrices here, A B transpose, B transpose, A transpose. Yeah. Then uh, we, using the definition of matrix product, C J K, C J K is the uh, entry in the jth row and kth column of A times B, to get C, J, K, I have to take the jth row of A and kth column of B and multiply them. So C, J, K is sum of A, J, L and times B, L, K, as L is varying from 1 up to N. Similarly, um, C, J, K prime. C, J, K prime is the J, K entry of A, B transpose. So J, K entry of A, B transpose is K, J entry of A, A times B by definition of transpose. So we write the K, J entry of A, A times B. And KJ entry of A times B is actually CJK, CKJ, which is sum of AKL times BLJ. Okay. And uh, similarly, you can take B transpose A transpose. I know the entries of B transpose. I know the entries of A transpose. And uh, when I write the product, uh, so I can display the entry in the jth row and kth column of B transpose A transpose. That will be jth row of B transpose. Jth row B transpose is really the uh, jth uh, column of B and kth column of A transpose is kth row of A. So we just write down the uh, definition of DJK using the product formula 
and you can check that DJK is CJK prime. So that 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 is a proof that transpose of the B is B transpose A transpose. I I simply wrote the definition of an arbitrary entry of product of two matrices in terms of dot product. Yeah. So if you keep that definition in mind, uh, you can write down the proof very easily that the transpose of A times B is the product of B transpose A transpose. So the ordering is reversed. Please keep that in mind. 